Welcome to Touch Technology Review. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to blur out objects on screen using DaVinci Resolve. And I'll also show you how to track the blur in case that object happens to be moving across the screen. This is useful for those of you wanting to protect copyright or identities of people or objects on screen when you have a video that you're producing that goes out into the public domain. So without any further delay, let's get started and first of all, create the blur. To do that, we're gonna go into the color screen, which is accessed by clicking on the color icon on the base of the screen. Now you'll see here that we have a car on the left-hand side. I've already blurred out the left-hand portion of the number plate for privacy reasons. So now I'm going to show you how to blur out the remainder of the number plate. Now, if you're coming to this with your own video clip, obviously you're gonna have a full number plate to blur out. So to do so, we're gonna click on the fourth icon along called Window, and this allows you to draw a mask around any object on screen. So I'm going to use the Pen tool, and then I'm going to click on the Blur icon, and we're going to increase the level of the blur by lifting up the sliders to around the three quarter mark, maybe even a little bit more, maybe at 90% or thereabouts. And you'll see that you've now created a blur over the number plate. The next thing we want to do is to track the motion. If I use the slider across here under the preview window, you'll see that as the video clip plays, because we have motion, the blur is staying in the one spot and the car is moving. So what we want to do is go back to the original point at which we created the blur. And we're now going to click on the tracker icon and click on the play button to track forward. And then we're going to bring the playhead back to that midpoint where we originally created the blur. And now we'll click on the track reverse button to track prior to that point as well. If you click play in the preview window, you should notice that the blur is now moving along in the path of motion. I'll click back to the main timeline to preview it, tap on play, and there you have it you've now completely obscured the number plate. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. See you on the next one. Bye for now.